Hi everyone, welcome back today. I'm in my 70s jumpsuit today. Ken says it looks like a jail suit, which I actually don't agree disagree with. We took some photos in it the other day and it does kind of look like a jail outfit, but um, with a 70s twist and I kind of like it. I like the look. It's pretty cool. And when we were out uh, taking those photos the other day, a Dutch woman stopped me and said, oh my God, I love your jumpsuit. So Dutch people are very stylish and cool people. So that was like a huge compliment. I was like, okay, maybe I know something here. It doesn't look like a jail outfit. <laughs> but anyways, other than it looks really cool, it's a cool color, it's very comfortable, it's great for biking. So I'm gonna head out on my bike today for a little adventure. Um, not necessarily for this vlog, but it'll be for a future vlog. Like I said in my last video, I'm just collecting a few different clips of some of my favorite thrift stores for a future video I'm gonna do. So I have to bike over there because we are running out of time here. It's crazy. Like, I don't even know. It feels like just yesterday we were starting to maybe consider moving and all of a sudden like all my shit's gone <laughs> and we're moving home in like a couple days. <sighs> I guess by the time this vlog goes live, um, we'll already be home, so. But first, I wanted to take a little walk. The sun was shining just a second ago. Oh yeah, blue skies, okay. I wanted to take a little walk over to one of our favorite, favorite canals. Um, you'll see it again in another future video that I'm going to post at some point. I'm going to try to stagger the Amsterdam videos a little bit, I think. But um, yeah, I just wanted to have it in a vlog sharing our very favorite canal that is literally like 40 steps from our front door. We are so lucky to live where we live. Um, it's just the most beautiful little area. So we're going to walk over there. I'll show you that spot. Of course, there's tons of other beautiful canals in Amsterdam. Tons. They're all beautiful. This one just has a special place in our heart. And if you're coming to Amsterdam, I highly recommend coming to see this one or taking your little rental boat down this little canal. Um, but it's just very, very picturesque. So it's one to add to your list. <laughs> so here is the said jumpsuit slash jail suit. <laughs> it's darker than a jail suit. It's more of like a 70s orange, but I love the fit of it. It's like big, oversized, too big. Wide leg at the bottom, it's too long for me, so I rolled them up. And yeah, nice pretty v-neck. Super cool, I love it. It look really great with sneakers, but I'm probably just gonna wear my Toms, because I always do. <laughs> Canal. Here we are. The most dreamy canals of all canals. So I'll take you for a little walk all the way down. But yeah. Lots of trees, beautiful little buildings, lots of little boats puttering down, ducks, flowers on the little cross bridges a little farther down. <sighs> God, I'm gonna miss this. So this is the street we're on. This was a little pub that we used to frequent a lot. Um, Cafe de Smale. We actually sat here on this bench when we were deciding what apartment we wanted because the apartment we actually took is right around the corner here. So we sat here, we had a lachouf, and sent in the offer for the apartment, which was one of the best decisions we made. <laughs> There's quite a few apartments along this street here that are just fairy tale magic. There's an older couple that live here with a little dog. Actually, I think they have two dogs. And they sit out here, have their wine. The dogs watch the people go by. And they have all this climbing greenery. Oh my gosh. Just looks so beautiful. There's a couple of these all the way down here. <laughs> the 
this is actually grapes here. <laughs> Climbing grapes that formed perfectly around their doorstep. I'm sure they probably did that somehow, but man, does it look good. Careful not to drop my phone into the water here. <laughs> I think probably on a normal year when coronavirus isn't happening, um, this area would be a lot more busy, but we've been here obviously at the peak of COVID. So it's actually been really peaceful. There's just locals here. Lots of young families live in these houses, young kids. You see kids riding their bikes along, learning to rollerblade. Um, some of them swim in the canal. Yeah, so it's very like Pleasantville feeling. But the reason we get a lot of tourists right here is because the Anne Frank house is just on the other side of the other canal on that side so we get a lot of them flowing over this way but thankfully it hasn't been too bad while we're here <laughs> this is another one of these beautiful fronts dog has his own little head hole here so cute their apartment looks super cute probably shouldn't be looking in there but very cool. They're always out here having their wine with their kids. In the evening, everyone comes out to tend to the flowers and the pots here, close to the water. Oh my God, that's a gorgeous dog. There we go. dreaming about when we get home. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get into one last half yeah, over here. It's actually directly across from our apartment, but it's almost always closed. But I noticed it was open this morning, so I'm gonna see if I can sneak in there real quick. Oh, we're in luck. I think. <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of trespassing, but I don't think I am.
home. Okay, I'm gonna go grab my tote bag and we'll hop on the little bike, head over to the Rataplan. <sighs> home again. I actually sold a bunch of things yesterday. A bunch of you guys from Instagram came over and collected a bunch of stuff. Kitchen looks so bare now, <laughs> nothing there. Looks so much better grounded with a nice carpet there. And a few things that I had on the table here, bits and bobs, but it definitely feels <sighs> less and less cozy as things disappear. It's gonna feel really weird when the carpet goes. That's how it was when we moved in. There was just the basics here, but we're gonna roll it up and take it down to Mo's house. He's gonna keep it there for us. I'm not gonna sell it. I just can't get rid of it. I just, it's like my first adult carpet and I'm having a hard time parting with it. It's just so pretty. So it's gonna live at Mo's until we can eventually be reunited with it well, at some point. 